everyone, I'm Amy Gutierrez, and this is Shoulder to Shoulder, where we get a chance to meet some of the most interesting, influential, and important people in the world of wine, our very own Sonoma County wine growers and wine makers. Today, we meet Brett Munsell of Munsell Vineyards, where his family history here dates back to more than 150 years, and their love of wine and farming is flourishing. Welcome to beautiful Alexander Valley and Brett Munsell. And we're out at Munsell Vineyards and we're on some pretty historic land here. Yeah. There's some definitely. stories with where we're standing. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are? So, this is our Osborne Ranch, but this is one of our very first Alexander Valley family ranches. I think it's been our family since the late 1880s. Wow. And it's definitely the oldest family property that we still farm today. Today, you grow grapes and you make wine, but that wasn't always the case with this land. Can you give us the evolution of, of what your family has grown here? So yeah, we're super lucky to be in Sonoma County. We started with grapes in wineries, went to hops for a short period, prunes. My grandfather had a dairy, so he was growing alfalfa. He grew watermelons for a war effort one time. We've had peaches and apples and pears. And then by early 1970s, we were all wine grapes. What is kind of new for you guys is actually the wine making and seeing Munsell on a wine bottle. Yeah. What does that mean to you? It's one, super fun to have your name on a bottle. But then the last little piece, it puts you on the same footing with the clients that you're selling grapes to. Mm -hmm. So if I'm sitting with a winemaker and talking about Chardonnay from Alexander Valley, I really have a good basis of yeah, that discussion because we're making our mm -hmm. own. So many families farm. What do you think has been the key to your family's success? I mean, one, I grew up right next to my grandparents and my grandfather, he just loved the ranch. Like I think he would have farmed watermelons or corn or alfalfa. I don't think it really mattered to him what he was farming. He wasn't enamored with the wine grape industry. He was enamored with farming and the history and the lifestyle in Alexander Valley. He would always tell us growing up, he's like, I've been all over the world. I've never seen any place that I'd want to be more than here. And I will say personally, like I love the family history. I don't know if my kids will get involved with our business or not get involved with our business, but if they leave and go to college and they just feel connected, mm -hmm. that's what I want. Brett has four daughters. Mm -hmm. You're the ultimate girl dad. Where do you stand on that if they come to you and say, Dad, I want to do this? So our family history is also interesting in that way. My grandfather had four daughters. I grew up with my aunt being one of the first women wine grape growers in Sonoma County. So my aunt and my dad were partners for 35 years farming together. I spent hours and hours riding around in a tractor with my aunt in the vineyards. So that felt pretty normal. But my girls now, if they're interested, I would love it. Mm -hmm. Anything that I do today, they can do and they'll do much better. Good if, answer. If <laughs> Great answer. You have an extended family within your employee base. What can you share about your relationship with your employees? I mean, I've grown up with quite a few employees that we have today and basically started working together when we were like 15 to 17 years old. So I kind of feel like I've grown up with them and we've certainly grown our business together which is really fun to think about. And it's fun to know that they've been a part of that. Let's talk a little bit about sustainability and the importance of that as farming evolves. So if you ask me a definition of sustainability, it's the ability to continue and pass that on to the next generation. And if we don't take care of our people, mm -hmm. our environment, mm -hmm. our industry, we won't be there for our future. When you hear the terms shoulder to shoulder, being a farmer in Sonoma County, what does that mean to you? wasn't that long ago we still had my grandfather. I talk about him a lot because he was an important person in my life. I spent a lot of time with him and he really loved what he did. Working together with your family, it's a special opportunity. It's not always easy, but it's always rewarding. We hope you've enjoyed getting to know Brett Munsell and more about Munsell Vineyards. Thank you so much for watching Shoulder to Shoulder. We hope you'll follow along as we unveil the stories of our beautiful Sonoma County wine country and the farmers and vintners who care for it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, at Sonoma Wine Growers, or visit our website at sonomawinegrape.org.